Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to discuss the commutative property and exactly what it applies to and what it looks like. So when we think commutative property, we need to think commute or move around. And this property only applies to addition and multiplication. So we're going to do a couple of addition examples and a couple of multiplication examples. So let's jump right in to number one. So number one says three plus two. And the commutative property states for addition that we can switch the order of those add-ins. Add-ins are the numbers that you add together to get a sum. I'll spell it over here. Add-ins. We can switch the order and still get the same answer. So let's see if it works for number one. Three plus two is five. Now let's switch or move around those add-ins and let's do 2 plus 3. Does that still give us 5? Yes. So addition is commutative. You can move around or commute those add-ins and still get the same sum or answer. So let's take a look at number 2 and make sure this works for another addition problem. So 25 plus 16 gives us a sum of 41. Let's move or commute the add-ins and switch around the 16 and 25. Now will 16 plus 25 still give us 41? Yes, because addition is commutative. We are allowed to do that. So number three and number four are both multiplication. So let's see if this these problems are commutative as well. So 9 times 7 gives us 63. Let's move the factors. These are called factors now when it comes to multiplication. Let's switch the factors and see if we get the same answer. 7 times 9 is still 63. So multiplication is commutative as well as addition. So let's do number four here to uh, wrap this commutative property video up. So we have 12 times four equals 48. Let's switch our factors here and do four times 12, which is also 48. So there you have it. The commutative property states that we can move the factors, which is multiplication, or the add-ends in an addition problem and still get the same answer. And again, this only works for addition and multiplication. Division and subtraction are not commutative. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.